Seven traffic. Experimental Stagger EZ 909 Echo Zulu departing 35 to the west. Mount Pleasant. You're coming up. Well, that sun reflection is real pretty. It's bright, but it's real pretty. And uh, so I've got a gentle climb set, 4,500, and uh, we'll adjust our course. I'm a little bit to the left, of course, so what we'll do is go up to track and then set my track right there. And you'll see the airplane is going to actually just start to wander here to the right as it continues to climb. From the pilot's perspective, I've got a, a stick here in the center, as do you back there. Uh, it's right stick and left throttle. Uh, that's fairly common in a lot of uh, canards and easies, are right stick, left throttle. Uh, mixture is just above it. One of the things that's different about the stagger easy, not unique, but different, is that the, there's a V in the, in the front wing. Now this front wing supports 20% of the airplane's weight. Oh wow! So it's working pretty hard, and the elevator is attached to the to the front canard wing. This particular canard wing is called a Ronce canard uh, by a aeronautical engineer that worked for Bert Rutan. Uh, Bert's uh, bulbous uh, canard wing had a lot of lift, but in rain it would actually lose lift and the nose would dive. Oh, wow. And so he had Ronce come up with a different airfoil shape, and this is just as efficient, if not more so, but it doesn't drop in rain. Oh. And uh, so this has a Ronce canard with dihedral. Most all canards have no dihedral in the, in the front wing. There's a, several exceptions to that. There's one guy that has a Cozy 3 out of Fort Worth named Vance Atkinson, and he has a... Uh, a dihedral, and that's why the builder of this airplane and him worked together and they both wanted dihedral. Uh, the winglets out there are big rudders and vertical fins and add a huge amount of stability to the airplane. Normally they're towed in two degrees. Well, if you can think about towing in, that adds stability, just like if you're plowing down on skis down a hill, it add, makes you very stable. When you're first learning how to ski, um, you you learn how to plow, and that's your towing in. Well, uh, a lot of long easies have two degrees tow in on the vertical fins. The designer and builder of the stagger easy neutralized that, so he added the, the dihedral to help stabilize the airplane oh, okay. and reduce drag. Huh. So these are zero zero on the vertical fins. They're don't have the toe-in drag. Uh, he also increased the effectiveness of the rudders by making them full length. And to this day, I, I, there may be some uh, canards out there that have full length rudders, but I haven't seen any. And I go to a lot of fly-ins with canards. So we have one called Rough River. That's the big canard fly-in for our part of the country. There's another one in Utah. I have yet to see one with complete vertical rudders like uh, like mine. And of course, you and I talked about the, the wider stance on the landing gear. That also is unique right. to this airplane. Yes, Cessna 459 downwind, uh, 31. Thank you. Talk to me a little bit about the engine and the performance of it. The engine is a Lycoming O360 uh, with millennium cylinders. Instead of cast iron, they're steel cylinders. Millennium cylinders are reported to be the best. Uh, the normal compression for an O360, uh, I say normal, everything's kind of different, but uh, the, most of them are, have a compression ratio of 8 to 1. 
Mine are a little over nine to one, oh, so wow. a little bit higher compression, and so thus you get a little bit more horsepower. So instead of 180 horsepower, which is normal for most IO 360s, mine's an O 360, and it's uh, 200 horsepower. Uh, the business end, though, the engine is attached to a, a, a custom-made three-blade three Cato propeller. Spoke to Craig Cato back in 2011, no, 2012, and uh, when we failed the propeller that was on it, it didn't, wasn't airworthy anymore. So we, I could, it was basically grounding the airplane. Craig Cato normally has a lead time of about four months to get a propeller wow. out of uh, California. Uh, he's that busy. Although he has a, a great shop, he uses a, a CAD machine to design the props and makes them. They start off with a wood core, and then he does numerous layups and bakes it at a high temperature uh, so that they, they can take extreme temps. Oh, wow. Um, he built this propeller for me and had it chipped and I had it in 10 days. Wow. Which is virtually unheard of in, uh, in the experimental world to get a prop out of Cato propellers uh, in 10 days. <laughs> so I, I lucked out very, very yeah, much really. on that. The propeller though, when you're rotating and taking off, if you have too long a prop, uh, that propeller is getting close to the ground. So you have to worry about ground clearance because Unlike when you've got the propeller in the front of the airplane rotating, it's just not a problem. Yeah. But it's all, it's going down. So propeller length is critical. So you, there's a balance between length and pitch. The engine thrust line is slightly larger, uh, higher than normal oh, okay. because this airplane is so big up, up high. We've got so much canopy. Got a little bit more clearance back there as a result of the engine being a little bit higher, but still you worry about that so uh once you're off though then it it's a mute point <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now easies are, are known for being snug and tight and all that stuff and you got some other canard you know like the velocity and so forth uh but why why what makes this one different i mean the the right seat that i'm in it's it's offset is that why it's the the stagger easy well that that is correct um uh because we moved the gear over, uh, that did forego the, the, the practical sense of having rudder pedals. Uh, but uh, at that point, he wanted to um, move that right seat back in reference to the center of gravity. So the closest airplane that matches the Stagger Easy is called a Cozy 3. So you have a seat here and a seat literally shoulder to shoulder. Okay. And so they're on the same, what we call CG, center of gravity station. And cozies get their name because they're not as wide as this and you're literally <laughs> shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> More cozy. <laughs> so um, I trained in one, transition training, to learn how to fly this in a cozy three. And the guy was a little guy. And we were still cozy. And so um, moving the seat back did two things. It added to comfort, uh, but it also changed the fact that like the Cozy 3, when you're so low in a Cozy 3, you, you end up putting a sandbag in the nose. Really? It's a 40 pound, from what I understand, I could have the weight wrong, but it's, I don't think it's 20. I think it's 40 pound sand sandbag that you stick in the nose if you're solo. Wow. If you pick up a passenger, you've got to remember to pick pull that sandbag out and stow it in the back. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> and so it's a center of gravity issue. And by moving the right seater back, the stagger easy is unique among easies in that you don't have to put sand in for single seat operations and you don't have to remove weight or sand for dual seat or gotcha. even three people sitting in the stagger easy. So uh, from an operational standpoint, uh, you're not running down the runway going, oh no, I can't take off. I've got sand in the front <laughs> uh, because you picked up a right seater. Yeah. So the weight and balance is better 
Uh, it moves it back closer to where the strikes are, which is the normal operation uh, with a with someone in. So it's a less of a big deal to, to add a right seater. And then the the back seat is right on the CG station, so um, it's just uh, not a problem. We're doing uh, true airspeed 183 knots. Uh, I'm going to dial that back just a little bit and lean it out just a little. Boy, it's uh, it's running really well. It is. The uh, we're not making our ground speed is down uh, I say only 147. <laughs> That's not bad compared to most small airplanes. Uh, your ground speed might be what 110. Yep, true air speeds. Oh, I'm down to 170. <laughs> I bet that autopilot sure is nice on cross country. It is. Yeah. It. Uh, you're able to focus on the radios because I use flight following. I'm talking to air, air traffic control, and so you're listening for your call sign. You know when they give you an instruction to hand you over to another center uh, and a frequency change. So we're 17 minutes out, 39 nautical miles to our destination. Beats driving, huh? It's Ooh. a little nicer. <laughs> <laughs> So once it's trimmed out on autopilot, there's not much to do but monitor your engine and instruments and uh, your radios and your navigation. Make sure that you're on course. My daughter bought this for me. <laughs> it's a big help. And, uh, a lot more comfortable. There we go. How's that? Thank you. Not bad? Not bad at all. You, you look awfully comfortable. Your feet are crossed. Uh, yep. <laughs> I'm stretched out. I'm reclined. <laughs> And with the seats, just like we were talking about, with the seats being staggered, like I said earlier, I can put my arm kind of behind your chair, and it's just, it's a it's a very comfortable position. Isn't it? Yeah. So, I got to tell you a quick story. All right. uh, uh, you know, I'm married. Yeah. My wife, Ginger, is just awesome. And unlike several pilots that I, I'm familiar with, their, their wives just won't fly with them at all. Yeah. Or is extremely reluctant, you know. Will, but hate, you know. My wife loves to fly with me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one of the benefits of the staggered seating is uh, that I actually get back rubs from my sweetheart. <laughs> when I'm a little bit tired or whatever, she'll just reach over and rub my back a little bit. And so uh, it, it, it has a, a back rub feature from your, from your uh, significant other. <laughs> You're okay if I don't give you a back rub though, yeah, right? Yeah, no, no, no back rub needed. <laughs> Kinney Tower, Stagger Easy, 909 Echo Zulu, 10 miles east inbound for full stop. Stagger Easy, 909 Echo Zulu, Bikini Tower, Ident. We're landing runway 36. Uh, the wind is 330 at 10, and then the altimeter is 3027. Just continue for the right down and entry. Continue for the right down entry, 909 Echo Zulu, thanks. You're coming down. All right, I got one guy on final. He's at there at 12 o'clock, but he's on final. Long final. Stagger Easy, 9 Echo Zulu, continue downwind. Continue downwind for Stagger Easy. Stagger Easy, 9 Echo Zulu, continue downwind. You're looking for a Cessna about 7 southwest of the field on the left base. They're ahead in two. You're right there about uh, two and a half miles. We just passed him. He's over here. We just passed one that finished uh, turn and final, but uh, you're saying another one that's on base that we're looking for, 909 Echo Zulu. Oh, just spotted him. I have the uh, the one on base. Tiger Easy 9 Echo Zulu, thank you. He's a touch and go, and uh, you're number five now, and uh, you're cleared <laughs> to land. Number five. Cleared to land, number five, behind the one on, on base, 909 Echo Zulu. Uh, Jacket 90 McKinney Tower. Uh, okay, I got to crank it around. South, and it's going to be an extended down when I'll turn you back in here shortly. All right, we'll turn to the south for an extended downwind, Jacket 90. That's the 90 Victor. I understand you're just going to get you to the, to the north. Uh, negative. We're going to get out of the area to the south, go over to Mesquite, 90 Victor. Okay, sir, make a wide left downwind departure to the south, please. Wide left downwind departure it is, 90 Victor. Take care, Fort Ford, my name is Sir. Airfly 4, thank you. I see a 2 and 2, buddy. Archer 6 9 Alpha, continue on the downwind. I'll call your base. We'll continue down when you'll call our base, 769 or Alpha. Cessna 
nine thing. Let's I'm going to have a big gap here in just a moment. Look at the three airplanes waiting to take off. Oh, wow. Yep. That was us this morning. It was. Two Foxtrot, uh, you can give me right traffic. Right traffic, six two Foxtrot. Okay, that, Archer 85 uh, Alpha, continue. And uh, Cessna 61 Tango, go ahead and turn your base. Turn your base, 61 Tango. Archer 85 Alpha, I'm going to put you behind us, Cessna. They're directly ahead of you there, about five miles, turning the left base. 85 Alpha, we'll be looking. Okay, thank you. BK Tower, Cessna 7329 uh, Shorter runway 36, uh, third in line in sequence. 73298, Roger. do that, sir. Right now, I want you to look for a Cessna coming up on about a three and a half mile final. He's heading to your right. Look, uh, look at 60 Fox. Six two Fox, try to affirmative. Roger, six two Fox, turn to base. Amazing the air that that thing scoops up. You good? Oh yeah. All right, sir. Welcome back to McKinney. <laughs> Thanks for everything. That was fun.